All right. Hello, okay. ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the precursor, a little bit of a pre-event to the Global Media Tech Convergence event that is tomorrow. I am your host, John Cesaro, president and co-founder of Media Tech Ventures, here with the incredible Chris Reed, founder of Level Up Experience, and just incredible you know, video blogger on, on the latest and greatest. Uh, Chris, you know, let the audience know a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so Level Up Experience, focusing mainly on esports gaming. Um, we do bring on some conversations around just emerging tech in general. Uh, we just had a conversation around NFTs and crypto. So if you follow the crypto space, kind of the blockchain mm. gaming space, just did that a couple of days ago. Uh, it's, it's pretty all over the place, but uh, especially esports, gaming, and, and crypto related um, you know, tech platforms being built. A lot of tech infrastructure companies coming on, um, startup founders kind of sharing their journeys. Uh, on the esports side, we've had players, organizations come on and kind of tell their stories in a very you know new and emerging industry. Uh, my brother is a, a Smash Melee kind of semi pro slash pro. Uh, he's been playing for years, so like esports a big you know big part of my life as I followed him over the last several. Years. I, I I need to play against your brother because I feel like I should be pro, but I'm not. He's <laughs> Smash Melee. He's nasty. I mean, he's like the second. <laughs> He's the second, I think, or second or third best Marth main in the world, and he's no way, wow. He's scrimming with with Mango, and you know the, so that's I, incredible. Obviously, if you know the Smash Melee, so you know Mango's been around for for years, you know, fourteen years plus, right? So uh, it's really cool to kind of see that. And he he was he's been scrimming a couple of times a week, um, you know, a couple months ago with them. So but yeah. So really let's about. talk about the environment that we're in, right? I mean, yeah, like sure. this is so. What I love about what's going to happen tomorrow, it's a combination of immersive and, you know, you can view if you want to. You could you could join us in the virtual world if you want to. If you're interested in that, please let us know. But this is this is what the event is going to look like. So this is the main kind of lobby that you join into if you were to join us in this immersive environment. That's Gamer Jive. And, you know, over here at the front of the desk here, you know, we've got a couple different options if you wanted to create if you wanted to get something that kind of makes you a little bit more unique or if you wanted to cut your hair obviously i've got a mustache and a hat even though I don't, i'm not rocking the, the stash right now most people that do know me know that i do um but what i love most about the gamer job experience is this is all html5 enabled and it's very easy to build it's very easy to be a part of and Anywhere that you are right now, if you are watching this, you can speak to us and we'll be able to have a conversation with you. Um, so really quick, let's go over to give them a precursor of the wing room, which is where we're going to be spending a lot of our time. Here we go. Catching up with you. One moment. Thank you for wearing a mask in the virtual space, by the way. Um, we're not practicing six feet, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> this, this is really like, so for me, this is the first experience I've had being like, I'm kind of coining it like virtual vlogging. So like being in the metaverse and then being like creating these vlogs in those spaces. Um, so I've got, uh -huh. contacts, I've got other contacts that have been that, co that create content inside of other metaverses, other, other platforms um, like Decentraland, Crypto Voxels. A lot of them are blockchain based, but you're having a whole new ecosystem of content creators inside metaverses. So it's been the first time I've ever done like a virtual vlog for an actual event. So this is this is where we're gonna come and, and we're gonna kind of talk a little bit about the startups that have gone through the last Media Tech Ventures Incubator uh, Collective. I don't want to give too much away, so we're gonna go back to the lobby. And if you want to join us in the virtual space, we'd love to have you. Uh, you know, it's 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 one of the one of the extraordinary things about this virtual environment is the ability to talk to people, get to know individ individuals. You know, Chris, if Chris were to click on my avatar as an example, he can view my LinkedIn that you can see on the screen. You can get to know people, uh, who they are, have a conversation, and connect with them in a very meaningful way, which not a lot of other platforms allow that type of interconnectivity. Um, or uh, one, one, <laughs> one of the most uh, new fun ways and exciting uh, ways to, to use this environment is 
to go into the default room and, and go ice fishing. <laughs> yeah, I got to catch up with you. Did you, go, did you jump in the default room? Out in the, uh, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Patio. Yeah, so typically it's called the, the patio. Uh, yeah, you can see you've got the Christmas effect out here. So, uh, so with the beach season. With it being this cold out here, it's ice fishing. So <laughs> <laughs> the water's not frozen, though, right? I mean, maybe we need to we need to work on that, but or maybe it's a hot tub. We just never knew about it, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, now, how this works, real quick. So this is one of the mini games, like inside the inside the game shop space. So basically, the word "catch" will pop up, and you have to let left click catch, and then your character catches a fish. So there's like really interesting concepts like down the road as far as like creating like a point system and a leaderboard system and like doing different things inside the environments and then creating those leaderboards for point systems. And at the end of the event, like it's say a top five or top 10 get prizes and things like that. You know, one of the things that always fascinated me about the Gamer Jive event space where I think they are ahead of a lot of, of um, immersive environments is the gamification side of it. Right, where we know a lot of people are, you know, traditionally you might be a little introverted. You might not know everybody in the room, but this at least gives you a way, in an exciting way, to connect with individuals, but also, you know, have a leaderboard score on who you talk to, what you're doing, and it tracks you, right, kind of throughout that experience. And and again, right, I, again, what I love most about it is I don't need to download anything. It's all on the internet, in the browser, and it works. And here we are in StreamYard, also leveraging that um, to showcase the effectiveness of it. So let's go back in really quick because I want to do some dance moves on the network stage. And for the record, I did. Catch and so what's <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> so what? What's really exciting about the event tomorrow is we've got people from all over the world that are going to be joining us, um, and it really is a global media tech convergence. I, I think in the 21st century digital economy. Uh, but more importantly, with, with the effects of the current pandemic, everything has really kind of become media oriented. Uh, and we really need to start bridging that gap between you know, what's possible and, and why every company should be and is technically a media company. Um, uh, I don't know how you did that, but I got a lot of green thumbs up and I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> New feature, I had to throw it in there so that there's a reaction button. And so you have those live emotes. So if someone says, if someone's, someone's presenting and they have a great idea, you can like it or potentially dislike it. So you have the opportunity to do both. Uh, there's, <laughs> you can be confused. You can, be, you can, uh, you know, wave. All it's, kinds of stuff. It's so, awesome. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> That's somewhat horrifying, but, <laughs> but I, I, I appreciate the, the sentiment for sure. And then, yeah, in, in these virtual environments, you know, it's, it's not hard to be able to, kind of throw up a, a presentation booth that you see over here. You know, you've got your video to the right, which we won't play right now, um, but that, that'll be for tomorrow. But you can you can absolutely have the, the, I love the, on the table there. So just like any other conference that you go to, you're used to getting swag, right? You're used to um, having access to things. And again, right, jump into chat if you have any questions, folks. We're here for a little bit uh, to kind of walk you through what to expect tomorrow. Um, but you can click on any of those in their unique URLs, right? So you can you can really help kind of create that user experience, a user journey in this virtual environment. It's one of the things I love about it because most of the time when you're at a conference and you got shit on your table, people take it and then they throw it away, <laughs> right? Like it really, unless it's something awesome and cool and exciting and it's it's got high value. If it's a if it's a, a print or you know a handout or whatever, it, it goes directly in the garbage. And and everybody that's been to a conference like a CES or a South by Southwest knows that that's how it goes. Um, yeah, it, like, it's really hard. If you're like me, you have stacks of lanyards and stuff from other events and things like that. Uh, but yeah, see these exactly little, these little orbs here within within the booths, uh, they're clickable links. So like this takes it to the Media Tech Ventures LinkedIn to the Facebook page, to Twitter, or everything else. All right, let's go to the networking room. Yeah, so my job, as I may have mentioned earlier, my job is to follow and tell the story tomorrow as far as like the vantage point. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to do that. 
we are going to grab a drink and move move this out of here and kind of see the profile of your avatar what it would look like i, I love the uh i love the you know the starbucks uh <laughs> vibe there yeah no. <laughs> now, there's been some interesting branding that's been done inside uh, specific environments and specific spaces um so I even like there was a a shout out to nutri gamer they came in and, and sponsored an event and when you got a drink then it powered your character up and it, it was like dragon ball oh, i love i love that you know what and i did that like i did that like 80 times during that event by the way it was just a massive coffee yeah. in my hands and i love coffee so it was just exciting to do that and there's usually uh there's usually tables in this environment too where you can put the drink down on or we can come over here on the other side to the cafe. And then I can grab my coffee that I so desperately need pretty much all day, every day. Yeah, and uh, food objects, uh, the tech team is working on food. <laughs> so just, but just for now, <laughs> for now. <laughs> Will you be virtually satiated to be determined? <laughs> um, you know, and, and then, you know, to it, what's great about the, the networking room is obviously it gives you the opportunity to talk to anybody you want. And, and you know, I, I think the the idea behind this is we want to create an environment where people do connect, they have conversations. But we all know that we've been at conferences, we've been at events, we've been places where we don't want to talk to everybody all the time. Right. We want to we want to hang out with the people that we know. There's there's that level ex of, of exclusivity right uh that kind of you know personable kind of touch and we can control that in a virtual environment you don't need to talk to people that you don't want to talk to or that you don't want to be around and i think it's one of the wonderful things about doing events virtually versus in person where you can't really control a lot of those unknown variables right exactly and you decide if you're going to be watching a presentation slide you decide the experience versus you know a typical video conference where it's being put to you it's like it's saying like That's right. this is the slide you have to watch right now like, right and it, it sets you know it's it's a very static schedule it's more dynamic in a virtual environment like this because you decide what you see you decide who you talk to um so it makes it makes again that's it's that's the the level of engagement that you're looking for so you know so what's great about tomorrow's event is you know we've got Colombia we've got Italy we've got South Korea joining us to talk about how to you know the the benefits of coming together for the sake of innovation and entrepreneurship and and now more than ever why it's so important we've got barbara ford right cto meow wolf we've got brian solis the futurist incredible you know uh, multiple multiple times over best-selling author on the future of media in general uh it's and we've got all the startups that have graduated from collective i'm really excited to showcase not only gamer jive which was a collective graduate and how far they've come in a very short amount of time and really kind of reinventing the idea of what a immersive event could be right and and i think where where i love the gamer jive um vibe is 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 really kind of drag and drop right kind of uh, uh, uh what you want it to be is what we can make it without too much customization right um and 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 then all the other startups that obviously we're going to be celebrating tomorrow there's just a lot right now to be to be uh reimagined in in how we kind of uh, visualize and, and what we imagine what the future of media is going to be in a post-pandemic society right yeah and, and it's it's really interesting because like the, the platform itself like for example has changed a lot and then people once people are and this is like technology in general the market makes what they want out of it with tech Right. So like there's use cases that come up that you never really even thought of. So people can be very creative with technology. And that's what's happened over the last few years with platforms. So I'm really excited to see that. Uh, and like you said, yeah, also tomorrow is that celebration for startups, too. Uh, they're part of Collective. So I'm excited to see that um, and then presenting. And then, you know, we have the couple, a couple of the panels. I'm uh, really excited for that, too. And a couple of keynotes. Awesome. So if you haven't already. Check out Global Media Tech Convergence on LinkedIn, on Facebook. We're there. Join the event. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you folks tomorrow, and we're really excited about it. Yeah, one last thing. I, we will dance real quick. 
<laughs> oh yeah, let's dance. We're gonna have a quick dance off. So if you're a part of the event, um, I know it's kind of a select uh, group that's that will be in the environment. Uh, your avatar can dance; has to be on the dance floor. Uh, and then you have, and you can, you will not spill your drink either. So that's the, <laughs> that's the really interesting aspect of all this. So if you're in the VIP, if you're part of kind of like the VIP group or, the, or someone that's involved tomorrow, uh, make sure to check out the dance floor as well because it's, it's definitely a lot of fun. I don't know if I would ever do that with coffee in my hands, but I applaud the avatar's uh, capability to do that without spilling the coffee. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, John, can you remind everybody what time everything starts? Everything starts tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central. Again, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on LinkedIn. Global Media Tech Convergence. And we will see you all tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you guys tomorrow.